match with the respected American top team in Florida and is eager to certeza vai ter toda a torcida when we close the cage it's me and him nobody contender Nick Diaz has traveled the world over the course of his five years to drive to the Arco Arena to face Gleison Tebow and Drew Fickett in an exciting UFC career that has never as he showed a complete mixed martial arts game in submitting always is looking forward to returning home and putting on a spec All right and that's what I'm doing that's full time there's no breaks or vacations for me American top team in Coconut Creek for not afraid to mix things up. You gotta love these Brazilian guys they got there and they bring all that experience here into the octagon. Start where he's learning all he can. He completed high school back in Brazil. I know. Somewhat of a typical Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. Three and two in his mixed martial arts career set to make his yeah. goal tonight. He seems to be savoring it, though. He liked the booze. It made him smile. Stockton, California. And uh, not very eventful entrance. Every time he steps in this octagon, he breaks it. He's an exciting fighter. Wide. I'm guessing they're the same jeans he wore to the weigh-ins yesterday as well. From situation to situation, because at times in the world, like when he's submission by the Kimura, Josh Neal. There, because sometimes he lacks confidence in himself or what it is that holds. Caesar Gracie, brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Started with the... And he says quite simply, he feels he trains harder than anyone. Diaz. Advantage for Diaz over the Brazilian, Tebow. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, who holds a professional record of 23 wins with two losses. Florida, Gleason T. The red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional one pound. Fighting out of Stockton, California. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest, Nick Diaz from 45 minutes south of our and here we go Diaz was already in the center of the octagon before Mazagadia Here no anchors yet no hooks a little high Diaz pulls him over the Diaz extremely comfortable though when it gets and put pressure on that elbow joint oh he's got it can he finish but still very competitors. Great deal of said, Randy, experienced, but Tebow has not fought the same caliber near. Not quite the same arsenal of opponents that D time in an arena like Arco Arena full of people. I mean, the kind of competition he had in Brazil. Well, who were the cats that he fought down there? Right, right. To get that game plan against Nick Diaz. Went for the early submission and Nick, of course, was I think so very flexible. Oh, absolutely. Good. Diaz being overwhelmed early, but not damaged. Trying to climb, hold the upper body of Tebow down into his chest. Nick slipping out. Nick Diaz, how crazy transition into that. As explosive, Randy, as a knockout attempt. Absolutely. Just Gives up his back, though. Tebow on Diaz's back. Is this a ploy to try and... Out in the mind of this, uh, at least seemingly dominant place in Tebow. Reversal. Gives up his back, and it ends up on top. This is a, a, a nice... Limbs of Diaz helping in this situation. Nice grounded pound Half posture. Right, right, so right. the elbow here. Higher elevation. Diaz continuing with. This is where he can do some damage, Randy. Even though taking a good beating. Diaz with a straight right. Mazda. Great well, job with the puff. Diaz trying to finish it. Tebow changes position. Tebow still in this. Kept, trying to pull the arm out and isolate it and not allow Tebow to move his head away. Here's the arm by second. Great submission attempts by both guys. Ready to put down there. Watch this shot. Yep. The corner of Tebow number two started. Hey guys can't wait to get to this one. Great job done by Nick there. Now he's looking for the single. Got to the single leg. Specialist indeed. Always wants to bring it. 
Jones. Three fights against good standing switch, trying to get the Diaz's back. No go. Right back in that half guard. A half shot by Tebow yep. and work his way back into that posture position to land those shots with those long arms. Half guard, he's actually anchoring his opponent down with that right knee. It's he? called a knee ride. Right. This ride may be the end of the ride for Glace and Tebow. Diaz trying to finish here in the second. On it. Rabbit punches by Diaz if he put a little more. He's able to do in this position. He is going to have to improve or he will be. Looks like That's he is about That's done it. and it is all over. You don't know want Nick Diaz let the pressure off for a second to change the position. Sometimes you mentally submit before you... position. See the replay here. The beginning of the end for Nick Diaz. Common position we've seen here. This knee ride postured up. Landing the... Ladies and gentlemen, refer by TKO, Nick! Nick, great job, Tom. Performance, did he surprise? Ready for it though. I uh, came off to a slow start here due to being discouraged. It just trained and go as good as it usually does for these things. So it's a little bit discouraged. I want to thank Caesar Gracie, everybody at the Academy for helping me train. Nasser Damar Davis, uh, Chris Quidiquit, Nathan Diaz, everybody for helping me train. My time punched a little slower. I didn't want to, you know, overdo it, trying to get a stoppage. Like I said, I, I didn't feel, I didn't get warmed up uh, as good as I should have coming out. Ladies and gentlemen.